Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Hidalia Agoncha. President Muhammadu Buhari is currently in Kaduna State. His visit is part of efforts aimed at finding a lasting solution to the consistent killings in the state in recent time. Buhari is expected to meet with religious and traditional leaders as well as other stakeholders in Kaduna State. The Nigeria police says it has concluded plans to prosecute 43 suspects for the killings in Kaduna State. The police say the 43 suspects are part of 93 persons arrested in connection with the killing of more than 50 persons in the northwestern state. Police spokesperson Jim Mashud says um, the other 50 suspects are currently in police custody undergoing investigation and will be arraigned in court very soon. The Nigerian army has again confirmed that officers killed three members of the Islamic Movement of Nigeria, IMN, in the federal capital territory, Abuja. The army says troops opened fire on the Shiite members after they forced their way into the troops' checkpoint after overrunning the police force on routine duty at Kugbo Karu Bridge checkpoint of the federal capital territory. The army statement also says four soldiers were injured in the incident. The other group has denied the accusation and insists that at least 16 of its members were shot dead by the military. The Nigerian Labour Congress has begun a nationwide mass protest for the implementation of a new minimum wage. The labour unions are demanding 30,000 naira, while the federal and state governments have offered 24,000 and 20,000 naira, respectively. Nigerian governors are expected to meet on Tuesday evening to take a final stance on the minimum wage. Drones and sonar technology have been deployed in Indonesia to search for a Lion Air passenger plane which crashed into the sea on Monday. Flight JT610 went down after taking off from Jakarta with 189 passengers and crew on board. There has been no signs of survivors but debris and personal belongings have been collected from the water. And in Tunisia, at least 15 people were injured when a 30-year-old woman blew herself up in the center of the capital, Tunis. Ten of those hurt in the explosion were police officers. Now no death has been reported and no group has said it is behind your attack. And in sport, informed striker Victor Osimhen and midfielder Mikel Agu are back in the Super Eagles as Gunnar Raw has named a 23-man squad for the November games against South Africa and Uganda. The Super Eagles of Nigeria are to face Bafana Bafana away in South Africa in the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations on Saturday, November 17, and a friendly game against Uganda three days after in Nigeria. Super Falcons coach Thomas Denaby has reduced the number of home-based players in camp for the 2018 Africa Women's Cup of Nations in Ghana. The home-based player will be joined later by the overseas-based stars as the team intensify preparations for the tournament. The tournament starts in Ghana on November 17 and ends on December 1st. The Super Falcons are in Group B alongside South Africa, Zambia and Kenya. Yulen Lopetegui has been sacked by Real Madrid after a terrible start. The 2018-2019 season culminated in a shocking loss against their arch rivals Barcelona last weekend. Reports suggest Antonio Conte is in advanced talks to replace him in the hot seat, though difficulties regarding the Italians' release clause with Chelsea have provided an unwelcome setback. Reserve team manager Santiago Solari is set to take the reins until an agreement can be reached between the two clubs. Well, that's the latest from our newsroom. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Bye for now.